What's up, everybody? It's Monkey Farm, and uh, we're back in the Let's Play world. Um, I have my texture pack patched. Uh, I'm playing in the uh, Snapshot 12 W19A, which has the new Cocoa Bean Pods. Um, I don't yet have the Cocoa Bean Pods texture on my pack, though, on the train file that I use. Um, if anybody happens to know which image file uh, the new cocoa bean pods are on uh, would you let me know I was looking through the texture pack and uh, couldn't really find it um, so uh, I don't yet have them added to my pack and uh, I really need them because today we are going to build my new uh, cocoa bean farm into this world We've been working on the wheat farm. I've been cleaning it up a bit. I, I lined the sides with glass instead of uh, fence posts. Uh, I think it looks better. It looks a lot sleeker or more sleek. And uh, it also, uh, I think, will prevent any wheat from getting stuck in the sides. A lot of people were saying that uh, um, the wheat will get stuck in a fence post as the water is washing it away. If you haven't seen my cocoa bean farm video, I will put a link up on the screen to that. Um, you should check that out. It's uh, I did a tutorial on it. It's a pretty cool design. It's uh, very efficient with uh, the redstone and all of that. Um, and it gets uh, over a stack of cocoa beans with each harvest. It actually gets 72 cocoa beans um, if, the, uh, if the cocoa bean thingies are fully grown. So a couple of people were asking in my cocoa bean farm video uh, if I could put a smart piston on the top, which uh, would make it so I wouldn't have to do my vertical wiring up to the top piston, and that would actually make the design even more compact. And uh, I don't think that will work. The reason is um, the piston on the bottom uh, is extended at the point when uh, the smart piston would try to push it back down. And the problem is is that if you have an extended piston, uh, or let's put it this way, a piston cannot push another piston that's extended. So uh, let me extend that. Now if I power this piston, it won't work. So that's the problem with trying to put a smart piston on the top of my design because uh, it just doesn't work that way. The piston at the top tries to push down immediately, uh, but for, uh, it does it at the time that this piston down here is extended and uh, it's just bad timing. So uh, actually, if, if anybody wants to figure that design out, um, go for it and let me know, post a video response and I'll give you a little shout out. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time on it because uh, I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, um, we're actually going to build the cocoa bean farm right into this, uh, these two trees. So um, it's going to, I just realized I don't have any pants on, or I have pants, I just don't have armor pants. Uh, whoops. Anyway. We are going to build the uh, the cocoa bean farm right here. So there's six, right? One, two. And uh, it'll be kind of hidden because uh, the redstone wiring will go up this side of the tree, and uh, you know it'll be somewhat hidden. Anyway, um, so let's leave that piston there. And we need to dig this out a little bit. And this one, let's see. And then I'll need to get rid of that, I believe. And this design is really simple. Uh, only uses a couple uh, redstone and uh, a couple redstone torches. OK, then I'm going to, let's see, actually I needed that block. Uh, I need a redstone on top of that. Um, I'm not really going to explain how to build this because I already did it in the tutorial. If you want to check that out, um, go for it. Uh, let's see. I need a redstone torch here. 
And actually, I should probably put that on later because, um, oh look, grass. Uh, because I need to break away the blocks on top of there, but uh, we'll worry about that in a sec. So, we're going to wire up the side here. I think that's where I do it, yep. the heck did I do that for? Okay. That should actually be all we need. Okay, there's six. So the piston needs to go, uh, I believe, let's see, above there. So hopefully uh, this design will be hidden enough uh, that my jungle tree still looks okay. Oh, what am I doing? What am I, <laughs> why didn't anybody stop me? Hello, was anybody yelling at their uh, computer screen? Why am I using stone bricks right here? Hello, McFly. I'm supposed to be using uh, jungle tree wood, so it's hidden. That was the whole point of this, remember? Oh my gosh, crazy. All right. So this will work a little bit better. And uh, there we go. <laughs> That's funny. The whole point of this was to uh, to hide it in the tree, and uh, I totally started using uh, stone bricks. Anyway. We've gotten that taken care of, so no worries now. Um, now I need just to uh, get this over here and power. Power that puppy up. And I think we're done. I don't know. Does that seem easy enough? Seems easy enough to me. And I need to reset that thing. And I think we're good. Uh, you know what? Actually, I have a surprise for you guys. I'm going to go sleep real quick. And uh, I'm sure you guys will enjoy this. Some people have been asking me for this. So you'll get your wish. That's right, this is my base in uh, default texture pack. A bunch of you have been asking me to, uh, to show the base in the default texture pack, and here it is. I'm going to head over and grab some cocoa beans because uh, the reason I switched to the default texture pack is because I, uh, I don't have the pods. Good, I have seven cocoa beans. What can I get rid of? Oh, I don't need to get rid of anything. So a lot of people have been asking to see the base in the default texture, and um, I don't know. I have to say I still like mine better. Uh, this pack wouldn't be so bad if the glass weren't so white. Uh, it's just so hard to see through, and the lines are so big, you know. If, uh, if I had the default texture pack, I would probably just change the glass. I'm going to put uh, a couple cocoa bean pods here. They, they can go on any side, it doesn't matter. And uh, I don't have any, I'm gonna go grab some bones. 
but you know what I was thinking? Uh, I haven't used the XP farm in a while because I've been busy doing other things, so uh, why not? Uh, why, don't, why don't we get some skeletons down here? And we can get some bone meal from the skeletons. we can pick up some bones here some arrows there's some bones and uh, get the little pusher out here and got some more mobs falling down I uh, accidentally found out I was on peaceful mode so I had to switch back to hard um, probably would have had some more mobs in there okay and before we um, before we see this thing in action, I'm going to finish up um, everything I need to do around the edges so that this thing will work correctly. And let's get some dirt here. And do I have any half slabby thingies? Uh, Let's see, I guess I'll use these. Guess I'm done with that. And there we go, that should work. And everything is gone. Uh, so by the way, I, uh, I already did this off camera. <laughs> but uh, I thought I was filming so I have a few extra cocoa beans already um, so then I broke it down and uh, rebuilt it <laughs> pretending like I hadn't built it before anyway uh, so that is it that is the cocoa bean farm right here and it's pretty hidden aside from a couple redstone torches and um, yeah I mean it just fits right into the tree nothing uh, Nothing too exciting. Let's uh, check it out from this side where we can't see the redstone. Yeah, we don't see anything here. We just see the uh, we just see the cocoa beans. So awesome! It's uh, it's pretty hidden. I'm pretty happy with it. I like the design overall. Um, and like I said, it's pretty efficient. So you know what we need to do? We need to make some cookies. And that is very easy as well, especially since we have, um, why, oh, why am I trying, to, I'm out of bone meal and I'm trying to grow the cocoa pods with cocoa beans. That doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to grab some wheat and we are going to make some cookies. Uh, why don't I just harvest all these right here? Nice. Very nice. Lots of cocoa beans. All right. I'm going to switch back to my normal texture pack now because uh, I can't stand this default. I'm sorry. I know you guys wanted to see it, but it's just, uh, I'm just not going to deal with it. All right. I will see you back over there. Okay. Oh, it looks like the wheat is almost grown. Didn't look like it was almost grown in the default texture pack, but uh, it is. Oh my God, there's a skeleton up there. Oh my god, I can't believe we have a skeleton in the base. Uh, can anybody name the last video where we had a, a mob inside the base? Oh my god, I can't believe this. Uh, when did we have, did we ever have a mob? I, I remember uh, when I had the death bowl, when I was building the death bowl, one of the mobs climbed out of the side. Man, all these mobs are making noise too. Oh my god, they're all over the place. Holy crap. What the hell? Oh my god. There's a mob glitch that uh, if you have too many mobs compressed into one little space, uh, when you log out and log back in, I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to log out actually, um, 
for a few minutes. I know the video looked like it was uh, perfectly uh, just streaming and I, uh, nothing happened. Oh look, there's a disco zombie. Um, oh, I have fire arrows. Ha, goodbye. Um, anyway, so I forgot to turn my XP farm off, and uh, those of you who know what happens when you log out and log in, uh, when you have a bunch of mobs in an XP farm, when you log back in, they are all hanging out uh, outside of where they should be. I, uh, I don't want mobs uh, blowing up the place. Yes, I know I could have killed all of them, but it was fun watching them die in lava. All right, so now, <laughs> now we're all taken care of, and uh, I can replant my cocoa beans. And uh, this is what it looks like when you don't have your texture pack updated. And, and I seem to be lagging a little bit for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, this was a very strange uh, video. I uh, I think the last time we had a mob running free in the base was when uh, that skeleton. I think it was a skeleton. I had just built the XP, f or I had just built the death bowl, and uh, I was testing it out. And uh, didn't wasn't there a skeleton hiding under the stairway over there? If I remember correctly, I think so. Well, fun stuff. All right, so. Uh, well, this is what it looks like when you harvest an un uh, an ungrown <laughs> ungrown bunch of cocoa beans. Anyway, you get the picture. Let's make some cookies. Uh, is it wheat there? I believe it is. And by the way, so look at how much look at how many cookies you get. You get eight cookies just for one cocoa bean and two wheat. So. Uh, Really, I'm never going to need to make cookies ever again. <laughs> I don't even have enough inventory space to uh, to pick up all those, so I'm going to put some in here. Look at all those cookies. Let's see. We have Monkey Farm wearing no pants, throwing up cookies. Alright, let's eat some cookies. So these are like watermelon. They... Uh, they only give you one bar of hunger, or they only fill one hunger bar. So anyway, we have the item elevator to build into the wheat farm here. I've been uh, testing out a couple different designs in my test world, and uh, I guess we'll get to that next. But uh, for now, we have our cookies, and we have cocoa beans, and all sorts of other fun foods around here. So. I will plant these and just let them grow, although I can't see them in this texture pack. But uh, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I would appreciate a thumbs up if you did like it. That helps me out greatly, um, and we will see you guys next time.